What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Modo WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to change the navigation menu colors in WordPress using the Visual Modo WordPress Teams. So as you can see we have this fine Nectar WordPress team navigation menu example with a centered logo and navigation items to the left and to the right. And while using any visual model WordPress themes, we have a lot of options to edit the menu colors, the navigation menu colors. First of all, we're gonna need to move to WordPress dashboard, visual model, theme options. And inside theme options, we're gonna click on colors. And in the colors tab, we're gonna select the header. From the very beginning, we're gonna be selecting one color to check, the most simple one, the white. In this color, as you can see, the navigation drop-down items and menu items are white. Now we have light, that is uh, still a, light, a clean color, a clear color, but it's a little darker and we have a dark layout. This is a preset, so all the options gonna be properly set to work in mobile and work as drop downs. And of course we have custom. The custom is the option that you select in the case that you want to fully edit your menu colors. But before that you need to have a note that if you change some conflictant settings into the custom you may broke the navigation on the responsive devices. For example, this we have a dark layout and as you cannot see the logo is as well as set as dark and however the colors are white and the menu are white. Now we have a dark menu icon, a dark logo and dark items, so working fine. As a result you need to change the logo colors and the other colors in the case that you want to change the menu while setting it as custom. But let's go there. The very first option is the navigation color shame. We're gonna set it as light because we want, we want the menu to perform as a light menu. So we are planning to have light colors as background on the menu. So the menu items gonna be dark. The menu items text gonna be dark. And the menu drop down navigation color gonna be dark because we planning to have light or white menu items. Now in the third option we can set the menu background, the main navigation menu background. Just do not forget to click on choose after selecting or picking the color that you want. Now we can have a little tricky so we can play with the color opacity, the color transparency. For example, I'm gonna set a total dark color here. Our middle items are almost invisible. However, if you go, because we set the menu to be light, however, if you change this bar, the RGBA bar, we can change the dark color opacity. So we can make the menu visible. And if you scroll down, the menu have this transparency effect because we change the opacity of the dark color. Now it's not a solid color any longer. I'm gonna leave a link here in the description below for a video tutorial where I do explain how to change logos in the case that your logo do not fit in the color design for a menu. But back into the tutorial, I'm gonna be removing this opacity and turn it back to our little yellow color as a menu of background. Now we're gonna move 
to the drop-down navigation background color. Once we set the drop-down navigation color shame to be dark, we're gonna have the text of the items in the drop-down as white and we can have darker colors as background. For example, this blue that I did set. Let me set it back to a darker color. Now, the navigation color. This is gonna be the color of the items, the color of the page titles inside your navigation menu. Let me pick this red color without opacity, so we can have a full head. Now, the menu text, the menu page items, is our head. Now, we're gonna change the navigation hover color. A little note is the fact that if you click on the X button inside this pinion, it gonna turn back to the default color set. Now, if you hover over the page, the color gonna be this green that we did select previously. Now, we have the last two options, the navigation drop-down color, the pages inside the, the submenu items, the color of those pages, and the navigation drop-down color as hover, the hover effect of the colors in, in this drop-down. If you see these pages, it's all a very blue, and if you hover, head. But the menu is a total mess, you know. We have a lot of colors and this is not combining. So we're gonna just need to click on reset section. This gonna set the section, the entire section of the colors inside your theme options as the default of the theme. As you can see, our old and good light colors that combine with the layout. However, if you go back to the custom, you're gonna see the old custom options. Save change and we are back to the normal. And now you know how to change the colors. Just a final note and an important note. If you have set your menu to have transparency or opacity effect, the settings that you apply inside your theme options will not have effect on this page once you did set this page as an special color set using the opacity inside page options. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to play with page settings and opacity. But this is a setting that needs to be applied, needs to be added in a single page. So if you want to remove that, as I'm gonna be doing now, you need to access the page access the, op opac the opacity, the overlay, and set as no. Save change, and now the menu color is gonna be following the ones that you set on theme options. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And I see you later. All the best!